Hello there, and what is up, everybody? It is me again, you guy, that guy, that TCG guy, and we're here for another Pokemon TCG unboxing video. And today, we've finally gotten our hands on the Shrouded Fable Elite Trainer Box, and I would like to give a special shout out, as usual, to our friends from Astro Balloons or Astro Toys and Collectibles on Facebook because they were able to get us the Shrouded Fable Elite Trainer Box and a Stellar Crown Booster Box. There you go. Stellar Crown Booster Box. We're gonna be opening that as well. But here's the thing about Shrouded Fable. Everybody needs a Pheasantipity EX. If you're into the Pokemon TCG, the trading card game itself, Pheasantipity EX is a very useful card, and we have never pulled it yet. That's the only thing we want to pull from Shrouded Fable, to be completely honest. And I don't really care about anything else. I just need a Pheasantipity EX. We have never pulled one. I really hope that doesn't jinx it, but I also hope. I know that sh the ETBs, Elite Trainer boxes in general, don't have a really good reputation. We know that ETBs are notorious for having bad pulls, but let's not jinx this one. I hope this one gets us something at least. So let's get right to it. Let's open it right up and we'll open up the Stellar Crown booster box as well. Let's find out if we finally get a Pheasantipity EX in one of these things. And there you go. Let's start. So, again, if you are in Davao City, or you know, actually, even if, as long as you're in the Philippines, just check out Astro Toys and Collectibles or Astro Toys PH on Facebook, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put the image here so that you can see it. Check them out. They have a lot of Pokemon TCG stuff. They are where we always get our Pokemon TCG stuff. And they have a physical store at SM City Davao going toward the annex right beside Tom's World. So if you're in Davao City and you can visit, check out the Astro Balloon store at SM City Davao so that you can get yourself some Pokemon TCG stuff. Not just Pokemon TCG stuff. They've got a lot of other collectibles. They've got Funko Pops. They've got other stuff. And there you have it. Let's look at the little booklet that the ETB has real quick. You can see all this stuff here. And you even get a little list of the possible cards that you can get from the set. So if you want to see all the cards that are available in this set, if you haven't checked them out on the internet yet, you can see them all here. There you go. It's all in there. And to be completely honest, again, the only thing that we want is Pheasantipity EX. But look at this box art here. Really pretty. Purple, green, and black. Who knew they worked so well together? And the metallic kind of shine that it has is really nice. So I gotta say, I really love this design for this Elite Trainer box. It's got the stuff in there, the divider, and it does have, if you look at it here, the design on this thing, looks like it's a uh, wall decor, pretty much. So, there you go. Let's see all the energies. I am curious about all the energies that it has, though. And there is the Petron Illustration Rare promo card that we get. Beautiful Petron illustration rare a promo illustration rare and let's see if the energies no the energies are normal energies the only time we get those shrouded fable energies is when we go open the packs you can get the hollows all that stuff i want to see what the sleeves look like it's get a little hard to get it to it but the sleeves are also really pretty there you have it. Really nice. For anybody who needs a code, may the odds be ever in your favor. Look at the dice and burn and poison counters that it has. There you go. Oh, the dice is actually different on these ones. Normally for ETBs, 
or at least recently, for the recent, for most recent releases, the dice look exactly the same for all of them. But the EX, the damage counter dice at least, they all look the same. But for this one, it looks slightly different. The damage counter dice is also, I mean, the, the regular EX, the regular big dice, whatever you call that. You see this clear green. But I would like to note that this damage counter dice is different colored compared to the other ETB dice that you get. Or the other damage counter dice that you get on regular ETBs. So, before we get right to it, let's make sure that we've got nine packs here. Three packs. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're not missing any packs from this ETB. That's very, that's a good sign. Good start. Although normally you shouldn't be missing any of them in the first place, but you know, some people or there have been instances where they have been missing a pack here and there. So luckily, we weren't one of those people who were losing packs. Let's try to divide them by typing. Oh, so for this one, Pheasantipity has three packs compared to the others. Or the other of the Loyal Three and Petron who have two packs each. So is this a good sign? We're, we're about to find out. Let's see if it's a good sign. Let's start with Pheasantipity then. Let's see if Pheasantipity gives us anything good. Then we'll open them right up all randomly. Start with that first Pheasantipity attack. See if we get some first pack magic here. First pack magic. Come on, here we go. And we're going to start it off with a Houndoom, followed by a Stuffle, Persian, Joltik, Crobat, Slitherwing, Cassiopeia, that Reverse Varum, we've got a Reverse Malamar, and oh, we got something right out of the bat. It is, oh, yes, finally, first pack magic, Pheasantipity pack right there. We got... I don't care if it's just a regular Art Pheasantipity EX, it is the Pheasantipity EX. Finally, we were able to pull a Pheasantipity, the card that we have been looking for, the only card that really matters to me in Shrouded Fable. That is it, guys. I think that's it for the video. I don't need anything else. We're good. We're done. This is it. This is the video. Bye. Anyway, let's just let's open everything else. But that is literally the only chase card I have. For Shrouded Fable, the only card that has been so elusive that we have not been able to pull at all, no matter how many Shrouded F Fable packs I've already opened. I mean, I didn't open a lot, but finally, we got Pheasantipity. I'm already good. I'm already happy. This is it. This 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 ETB is no longer a dud. That's, that's the best that I could possibly get from it. Let's get to opening everything else. Let's see if we get anything else to note here, but that was already it, guys. The Pheasantipity EX, we're solved. Joltik, Houndour, Zorua, Beware, Decidueye, a Curum for those Reggie Drago decks, Night Stretcher, also really good, Tapu Bulu on the reverse, and Persian! The Illustration Rare Persian. If I am not mistaken, this is one of the more pricey cards for Shrouded Fable. Blood Moon Ursa Luna definitely need that. And oh, and a holo water energy. Persian Illustration Rare. I believe that does fetch quite a bit of a price. I don't know. I don't... I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is one of the more desirable cards for Shrouded Fable. A little left heavy for this Persian though, but it is pretty solid. Solid pull. Let's try the third pack. Two packs in a row and we've gotten two pulls. Not bad, not bad at all. We're on a hot streak today. Targeting off with a Qfent, Zubat, Rowlet, the little round boy, Meowth, Genesect, Sylveon, Hourglass. Oh, Genesect on the reverse. Beautiful Genesect art there. Decidueye on the reverse, and oh, we got another one. It is Okie Dogi EX on the full art. So far, this ETB is this ETB trying to restore my faith in ETBs in general. I have never gotten an ETB like this ever. Okie Dogi EX full art, not bad, not bad at all. Three hits, three packs. Let's see if Petrant wants to 
I think that's it. Although, I think that's it. I think that's all the hits that we're going to get from this, honestly. Normally, you can't get... You don't get... You, you just get, like, three folds from ETB. That's all you should be getting. Let's see if our streak stops there. And we're going to start it off with a Sneasel this time. Eevee. Dustclops. Really good. Horsey. Hypno. Colrus Tenacity. Evil Tall. Oh, and a Dangerous Laser A spec. It is not stopping, guys. Dangerous Laser, although not a crazy A spec, but the fact that we got an A spec right here, that's something to note as well. That's We already have four hits. That doesn't make sense. To me, this ETB is already broken. I honestly think this ETB is already broken. So Dangerous Laser, nothing special. However, it is a pull. It is one of the hits. We still have five, five packs left. And let's get right to it. I think that's it, though. <laughs> that, that's already it. We can't be pushing our luck. I think that's all the hits that we're going to be getting today for the Shrouded Fable ETB. And we're going to start it off with a Curl Gunk, Bull Bat, Axew, Hound Hour, Binding Mochi, a Weavile, a Melomar, a Hound Hour on the reverse. A Seedra on the reverse, and there you go, Tapu Bulu, and a reverse holo, fighting energy, not bad, not bad at all. Let me know in the comments if you get any of the codes. Congratulations to whoever gets them first. And starting it off with the Eevee here, Dust Pops, 4C, Q-Hint, Hypno, Polar Tenacity again. Evil Tall and Dusknar on the reverse. Beautiful Dusknar reverse there. We have Weavile on the reverse and we have another Dusknar. So that is, I think that's going to complete all the Dusknars that we need for those explosive decks that we'll be getting or we'll be building with a Dusk Skull line or the Dusknar, Dusk Skull line of cards. Let's see, we've got three more packs left. We're starting off with a gold bat this time. Axew, Hound Hour, Drowsy, Binding Mochi, Alamar, Weavile, Eevee on the reverse, Zubat on the reverse, and Copper Raja with that massive body. He's a big boy. Two packs left. I don't expect anything from these two packs. I think we already got all the pulls that we could possibly get from this, but let's open them right up. We can still hope, right? We can only hope, but well, let's see. And we're gonna start it off with the Zubat, Rowlet, Meow, Progunk, Genesect, Sylveon, Power Glass, Polar Tenacity on the reverse, a Curib on the reverse, that's really nice. Oh, and we have another one. It's a mere five hits in an Elite Trainer box. This is not normal. And it's a Petron EX. It's just, it's fitting. I do want to build a Petron EX deck as well, so it's definitely a good addition. I'm planning to build a Petron and Roaring Moon deck, so this is one of the first. This is the first Petron EX I've gotten, and that's already five hits. That's already five out of the nine packs that we've got for Shrouded Fable. Is ETBs the best way to go for Shrouded Fable? Because on the other Crowded Fable stuff that I've already opened, the pulls were just mad. This is the first time I'm getting a couple of hits. And the fact that Shrouded Fable is a mini set, that means it doesn't have a regular booster box. So you can either get the booster bundles, the ETBs, the special releases, the collection boxes. Those are the only ways that you can get Shrouded Fable cards and those tins. So maybe ETBs are the way to go for Shrouded Fable, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if that's the same for you. Absol, Last Pack, Seedra, Dartrix, Duskull, Zerosix Machinations, Iron Moth, Janine's Secret Art, Beware on the Reverse, Axu on the Reverse, and lastly, that is a Cresselia. Nothing crazy, but we already got some crazy pulls. I think the crazy pulls have already been covered. We had five packs out of the nine packs of the Shrouded Fable Elite Trainer Box. And these are all the five pulls that we got. Pheasant Deepity EX. Finally, we got our hands on one. Persian, the illustration rare Persian. Okie Dogie EX. 
dangerous laser A spec. Nothing crazy, but dangerous laser. Petrant EX, and that is it for the Shrouded Fable ETB. That is not bad. Honestly, I think this is the best ETB I have ever opened in ever in Pokemon TCG. Because I have had a notoriously bad run with Elite Trainer boxes for Pokemon TCG, and this is honestly, I think, the best one that I've opened. So let me know if you get any good hits from the Shrouded Fable ETB as well. I'll cut the video short here for now. We'll open the Stellar Crown Booster Box on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Peace out. Bye for now.